Christmas 2018 will be a very memorable one for me and my wife Lizzie. It will be our first in the Cayman Islands and we will spend it at Government House with our family. Our two grown-up children, Matthew and Jessica, and Lizzie's parents will join us. My first impressions of the Cayman Islands have been universally positive and I've seen how important Christmas is to everyone. Um, and wow, the Christmas lights are incredible. I don't think I've seen that anywhere else. They're all over the islands. We feel fortunate and privileged to share this year's festivities with you all and to have time with our family in such a beautiful setting. During our first six weeks here, I have met many of you and learnt about what makes these islands so special. I have visited the sister islands and many areas of Grand Cayman. I am struck by the strong sense of community and tradition of giving to charity, which reflect the true spirit of Christmas and is something the Cayman Islands can be very proud of. Lizzie and I have already met and supported a number of local charities since we arrived, and we will remain active supporters of such great causes. We have much to be thankful for in other areas as well. The Cayman Islands are safe and prosperous, and our emergency services are the envy of others in the region. And together with our first class medical services, help to underpin our tourism and financial services sectors by making this such an attractive place to visit and to do business in. And we need to support everyone working in these areas. Um, I would like to pay my own tribute to them for working over the holiday season so that we can enjoy Christmas peacefully and safely. The Cayman Islands and the UK will face challenges in the coming year, but I believe our partnership is in great shape. We are one family united by our long shared history, traditions, culture, our world-class judicial system and the importance we attach to the rule of law, all underpinned by the great respect for our royal family. There is much collaboration and together I believe we are stronger. I was pleased to see that reflected in the very positive talks we had recently in London at the Joint Ministerial Council. There is increasing cooperation in financial services and international trade. Cayman Islands and the UK work closely together on law enforcement. There are joint initiatives on border security, policing, air operations, including the recent agreement to purchase a new helicopter, child safeguarding and a new initiative to establish Cayman Islands' first trade office in the Far East. Although there are challenges to overcome, these are exciting times for the Cayman Islands and you can count on me to fully support the Cayman Islands government to make the most of the opportunities that lie ahead. Now as many of you know, I am a keen user of social media and I want to continue to develop this to enable me to connect with as many of you as possible. It's important to me that you are aware of the excellent work that is undertaken on my behalf by the staff in my office. Lots goes on in the background in support of the Cayman Islands. So I hope that my social media accounts, Twitter and Facebook and soon Instagram will give you an insight into our work and reassure you of our strong support. So please have a look, follow our activities and give me your views. And I want to thank you again for the very warm Cayman kind welcome. I particularly recall my visit to the sister islands where I think I was fed every half an hour. Um, in fact, I was given so much food over that visit that I've had to jog on Seven Mile Beach every day just to keep this trim figure. So as this year comes to an end and we celebrate both the birth of Christ and our achievements over the last 12 months, I want to thank you all again for the very warm Cayman kind welcome. We have much to be proud of and thankful for, and I hope that this festive period will see you spending time with family and loved ones, taking a break and returning to work in the new year, revived and ready to continue with your good work in 2019. I, in turn, offer you my strong support and my service to these wonderful islands as we work towards the same goal of an ever more secure and prosperous Cayman Islands. Merry Christmas to all of you and your families. I wish you a prosperous and healthy new year. God bless the Cayman Islands. Thank you.